Hello everyone, and today I will be showing you something and giving you a tutorial on how to do it. This is my calculator that I programmed in VBScript. So, let's test it out. Type in your first number. 5. Type in your equation sign. Let's do plus. Then, let's do 3. Here it gives us the correct answer, 8. Now we can go back to it and do, for example, 5 times... 9 and it will give us 45 it has also subtraction so let me just quickly demonstrate that 3 and division so yeah so I'll be teaching you how to program this and I'll walk through it there will be also a link in description where you can automatically download it um, I'm assuming you already know what VBScript is and kind of the basics so I won't be going over that I'll open this up so I can look on it and okay so this is where we will be working on it so the first thing we do is we want to do option explicit and um, claim variables so option explicit it will just make it so um, programming it will be kind of simpler if you mess up so that and we'll claim I'll claim the values input 1 input Two and sign. So uh, basically, this is just so also to make uh, debugging easier. So the next thing we do is um, make the these windows pop up. So and so um, we'll do input box input boxes which already come in VBS. So input one. This input box will be the whatever you write in it will be input one. So we put input box and let me just check. So space parentheses and this is where you tell the uh, the person what to do. So type in your first number. Next, uh, it will be the title. You can put whatever. And now, uh, what I'll do is I'll just grab this and copy it and change this to input 2 and second number this is where this comes down to personal preference do you want uh, to type in your sign in between the two inputs or after the two inputs I'm gonna put um, in between them because it'd be kind of like if you were using a real calculator okay so this is all the user input that the, you have to write so just three lines is all you really need. The rest is how the computer figures out what to do with these numbers. Next we'll be using if and else if. So the way if works is you do if then a variable. Actually you want to type sign here and then what variable or what um, you want that variable to equal. And if the variable does equal that then it does this. So if the sign is plus Oh, and you have to use quotation marks then now you want a message box and what you'll type in is input one and now this is kinda weird but you're gonna do um, dash dash because this basically acts I'm pretty sure it's subtracting a negative which is basically adding the two numbers you can also add a uh, title if you want but I won't do that now the next will be an else if and sign if it equals a minus then basically now you just uh, do the commands that would be that you would type so um, sign is a uh, subtract sign so you just do input minus or subtract sign input two. really simple you can just copy now the rest and just subtract the signs with the correct signs for that. Now, you can add however many um, little options as to what to do with the two inputs. Uh, maybe square root, uh, finding the square root or squaring the number, for example. I added here um, squaring the number, and the way you do that is just by using the little hat symbol at least that's what I've heard of it. it was called or nicknamed 
So basically shift six on your keyboard, at least mine. That's basically the exponent does input one to the power of input two. If you put something other than this, I believe the program will just X out and won't do anything that might leave you confused. So you want to do an else command, which means any other thing that isn't like what I put as if or else if will show this else message box. Okay, what I typed was a message box that said, make sure what you typed in the equation box is correct. You can use the symbols plus minus multiplication, I guess, division and exponent. And then you want to end this off with an end if. So you can save it and let's go to it and let's test it out. Okay, so type in your first number. I'll do. You can even do stuff with decimals. So 1.37 uh, divided by, let's go with something kind of hard, uh, 8.12. And we get this long number, and it's most likely correct, or else the computer is bugged. Let's test out the exponent to the power of, let's do 3. That becomes 343. If you go with a number that's really big, it will give you an error saying overflow. So, um, of course, don't try to crash your computer by actually wanting it to give you this long number overflow. So... Uh, that's how you do it. I'll leave it in the description below how to if you want to look at it or maybe um, change it a bit. I'll probably put a paste bin maybe with this code in case you can't download the file or you don't have time to copy this by watching the video. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions, I'm a new still myself at this whole VB script thing, but I'll try to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for watching.